Today you will learn how to add Bootstrap 4 into an Angular 7 project. There are different ways to do so. We'll use NGX Bootstrap to get it done. To start things off, open up the browser. Type in NGX Bootstrap. Now click on the link from Valor Software. Scroll down until the How to Use It With section. As we are going to use Angular, click on Getting Started with NGCLI. As I already have the Angular command line interface installed, I'll skip the first step but if you don't, follow the installing instructions. Now open up the terminal. Type in ngv to check if you have the CLI on your machine. Here we are working with the version 7RC2. Now let's create a new project. Type in Y to add routing then select SCSS for SAS styling. Here we are. Our project is ready. We'll use VS Code to work with the project. Type in code dot to open it up. Great. Now pull up the terminal. Type in ngServe-o to launch the application. Alright everything's working fine. Now let's add Bootstrap. Copy the given command to install ngx bootstrap. Perfect. Now let's add our first ngx module to our app. Here this is the alert module. It will allow us to use bootstrap alert into our project. Now we'll head over our app module file and just copy paste the instructions as mentioned. Finally, we have to declare the bootstrap CSS file in the styles array of the Angular JSON file. Copy the first instruction providing the location of the file. Note that on Mac we have to remove the dot dot slash of the instruction to get it work. Good, we should be all set. Let's declare the alert in our app component. We'll just put it at the top of the default HTML template. Note that if you only save the change, it will not work. In fact, every time you make a change in the Angular.json file, you have to recompile the application to make the change happens. So let's just run ng-serve as we already have the window open. Wonderful, we have our alert showing up, 
and as you can see the bootstrap font style is applied in the whole page. Now let's add a new bootstrap component to get familiar with the documentation. For instance, let's add a button. We'll do the same procedure as the alert which is to import the module and declare it in the ng module. Perfect, now let's add the button. We'll clean up a bit the app component by removing the main division, the comment and actually the router outlet because we won't use it for now. Nice, our button is showing up. To close this topic, let's add some classic bootstrap class. Actually let's create just a row with three ABC columns. We'll also add the text center class to make it look better. Awesome, we finally made it. I hope that you found what you were looking for, and if so hit the like button and subscribe for upcoming content. See you next time.